couple weeks back, I had a little bit of a crash on my bike. Oh, God. All right, it was a pretty big crash. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh. And as a result, I'm back at Snap City. No, I hate Snap City. This place absolutely sucks. Broken wrist, broken hand, broken thumb, surgery, pins, plates, the whole deal. Now, luckily the broken thumb isn't too badly broken. I actually, I hyperextended it so much that the ligament pulled a little bit of bone off, but it's still kind of attached, so it's not too bad. But this one's absolutely toasted, needed surgery, multiple broken bones, but ultimately, I'm in these things for at least six weeks. But enough talking, let's just get straight into the action and I'll catch up with you on the other side. Did anyone catch the sound of me running into the back of Dave right there? It sounded like an absolute fatality. It was also a pretty good thing that I was wearing my Under Armour shoulder pad shirt. I never thought when I bought that shirt, oh, this will be really good if I'm ever lying in a ditch and I get run over from behind. Oh, shit! Are you okay? Oh, oh no, shoulder. What's hurting? I don't know. So at this point, I'm just trying to figure out what's gone wrong. Obviously, a whole bunch of things have gone wrong, both hands. I took a pretty big head knock here too, and my eyesight was no good for about five minutes. The neck is still a little bit sore. And so I didn't actually get my neck checked out of the emergency department. I already had two casts on my hands. If I put a neck brace on, I would have been looking like Steve Buscemi in Grown Ups. But I quickly worked out that the wrist was broken. I just touched it and I could feel things rattling around inside there like a packet of peanuts. Oh, I think my wrist might be broken. You reckon? Yeah. Okay, can possible. So obviously this is going to be a pretty big setback. I'm going to be off the bike for a couple of months to heal up and then I don't know how long it's going to take me to get back to where I was because I was just starting to feel like pretty confident in the air again. So I'll take you back, it's probably about an hour beforehand where I did this road gap. Alright, Dave's telling me into this road gap. I had no idea we were going to do this, but Dave's just done it, so how hard could it be? That was sick. <laughs> and this is earlier on the day where I was doing more of the mainline stuff with Dave, hitting the transition there. And I was even practicing the A line on the mainline. And I thought I was going to get there. Yes, sir. Bit of camera footage for him. Let's go. Nice. Yep. But that's actually as far as I got down the A-line. Somehow got distracted just having too much fun on some of the other trails like this one.
So obviously this channel is going to go quiet for the next few months. I'm not going to be able to post much content. So if you want to see how I'm going, just go check out my Instagram. I'll do some update posts over there. And I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who helped me out on the day to get me and my bike off the trails and back up into hospital. And also then a big thanks to everyone who's contacted me to see how I am. You guys know who you are. So like I said, I'm signing off for now, but I'll be back. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It really helps out the channel. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.